more of a Creole sausage, um, mostly put in gumbos. Um, it's got a lot of flavor, a lot of intense flavor, so you want to be careful with it uh, when, when cooking. Uh, considering it's cold outside, it's about, it's about 20 degrees outside right now, it's best to use this when it's hot. All right, the next thing we're going to start working on is actually the uh, relish itself. Um, over here we've got all of our cut ingredients, the onions, peppers, the, you know, the um, andouille sausage, cumin, and all that. So we're going to start doing this toss in. Beautiful sound. Now what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to cook these just enough to get some color on them, but we don't want to overcook them. Uh, I don't like mushy uh, ingredients on my food, so I like a little bit of bite. So we're going to add these in pretty fast, actually. It doesn't matter what scheme you go in, as long as the uh, the onions come in first, then the peppers. The onions get more caramelization to them, they get a little bit better color. So we're going to let these go. Then we're going to add a little bit of salt, and a little bit of pepper. While that's working, we've got our tomato coolie here actually starting to reduce. Now, for all you at home, sorry to be in your way, what you want to have is you want to have like an immersion blend blender like I'm about to use here, or you're going to want to have a um, regular blender itself. What you're going to do is it's still on the heat, it's not going to hurt it, but you put it in and just let it jet. Okay, now we're going to let this reduce a little bit more before we strain it for the chicken. Let's go back over to our onion pepper mix. We're going to add in the um, andouille sausage. Let that roll up a little bit. And the cumin. Which is uh, about a teaspoon of cumin as well. I still like the flavor of the cumin. It gives it a smokiness. After that, we're going to add in some uh, hot sauce. Uh, it's up to you how much hot sauce you want to put in. We like it hot, so we generally put a lot in. Uh, I would put in... I'll probably put in something like a quarter of a teaspoon. It might seem like a lot at home, but again, put in which, what your taste buds can take. This is red wine vinegar. I'm going to put that in there as well. And that will add just a little bit of richness to it. And right now, you, you, if, if you were just here, if we had smell o vision <laughs> you'd be able to uh, get this really rich, like almost smoky smell coming out of the pan right now from all the peppers and the Tabasco and all the good stuff that's in this pan right now. Okay, so moving on. I thought about something while we were uh, working on all this and thought about a good way for presentation to come about. So what I've done is, is I've taken a tortilla shell and I've cut it in half and I put it in this uh, bread pan. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put this pyrex dish in there to hold it and I'm going to put it in the oven and bake it off. Probably only takes about four minutes to bake off, but it'll add some real depth to uh, the, uh, the dish itself. But you just got to watch it. You don't want it to overcook. All right. Next we're going to strain this tomato coolie. As you can see, the bottom of it, it's got a lot of tomato parts in it. And this coolie itself has actually obtained a lot of flavor. Now with this sieve on here like this, you're going to want to gently just tap it against the bowl, or better yet, if you have a spoon handy like I do. Just go through and move it around so you get all that juice out. And once we've tried to extract, basically got every bit of tomato out of here, like the tomato pulp itself, that's what you don't want to keep. That's mostly like the rest of the insides of the tomato. What we want though is the juice. This is your tomato coolie. I'll pour that back in and let it reduce a little bit more so it's like a smooth consistency basically. Turn up the heat a little bit. 
Now, to finish up this, we're actually going to take uh, our lemon, squeeze it in there to add a little bit more acidity. Give it a bit more flavor. Stir. Ooh. Now, every, now, now, now the flavors are all coming together. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a lid on that, let that sit, and we're going to check our tortillas real fast. Perfect. Tortillas down on plate. Chicken. Chicken should be at a temperature of 165. Since everything else is done, I can turn all the heat off. A little trick that I like to do rice. Our rice is actually been cooked. So I like to take about a cup, cup and a half, or like a half a cup, throw it in my rice, push down, just try to center it on a plate. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of our and do sausage mix with the peppers. Throw a little bit of that on top. After that, move on to the chicken breast. A little bit more of the andouille. And uh, as a last resort, I put in um, Put in some cilantro into the tomato sauce. I'm just going to drizzle that over the top. The tomato cooling, should I say. Just there you have it. 